Hi, this is Dr. Fred Boyd from Equity Funding of Washington, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to screen a mortgage note investment to avoid making big mistakes. First thing to understand is this is a real world investment. You're dealing with humans, individuals, at every point in the transaction. You've got a borrower who might get sick. You've got a note seller who might not be honest. You've got a variety of different uh, partners in this investment that you have to manage. You have to make sure that they're doing their job correctly. But the big thing to understand is you can't get a great yield without some risk. Mortgage notes are not guaranteed. I like to say that they're about as regular as clockwork. The money comes into your mailbox every month. But remember, sometimes even clocks stop. Your borrower might get sick, they might lose their job, they might even die. And in those kinds of cases, you have to know how to react to continue to uh, benefit from your investment. Another thing to understand is everything you, write, you read on the internet is not true. Some of the people who broker notes on the inter internet are not honest. You need to make sure that the people who you're dealing with are going to deliver the product that you're trying to buy. Don't trust them. Verify everything at every step. Put on your big boy pants and do your due diligence. Last note, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Given all that, here we go. When you're buying a mortgage note, you want to be planning for the worst, but hoping for the best. In other words, as you screen a note, you want to understand what the worst case scenario is, what your downside risk is. With mortgage notes, the worst case is usually that the borrower stops paying and you have to foreclose. For this reason, you have to be sure that there's enough value in the collateral to cover your investment. You have to make sure there are good valuations that you're relying on to assess the collateral. You should have a broker's price opinion. A broker is a real estate professional, boots on the ground, in the market that you may not be familiar with, but who looks at this property on a given day and says this property is worth about this amount of money. Other sources of valuations are the internet search engines that many of us are aware of, Zillow, Trulia, and there are quite a few others. But realize that all of these are subject to errors. You have to look at the sum of all of the information that you have about the valuation of the collateral. The other thing to be aware of is real estate values change. And so you want to make sure that you're in a neighborhood, that your collateral is not losing value over the long term. So you want stable long-term values. The best case scenario in a mortgage note investment is that the borrower pays as agreed. And maybe even sells their house early, pays you off. It's easy. It's profitable. It's certainly the way we like things to be. But just remember, it's not always that way. There are three things that can render your note worthless. The first is bad title. You're talking to somebody, they're representing that the note you're buying is a first lien. It might not be. There might be a clouded title. The person who sold the property, the note that was originated in that sale is completely invalid if the seller didn't own it when they wrote the note. Another thing to be aware of is liens that can come in and complicate your life. There are two types of liens that can actually get in front of even a first mortgage lien. Those are, we're all familiar with property tax liens, but the other possibility is a homeowners association lien. There are several states in the United States where homeowners associations write super liens. They jump in front of first mortgage liens and they have to be satisfied if you ever have to take a note back. So you need to know what those downsides are. Another thing that can render your note worthless is 
property taxes in excess of the value of the collateral. This happens. Sometimes people don't pay their property taxes for years uh, in high property tax states. The property tax can, bill can quickly accumulate to the point where it's worth more than your investment. Those property taxes are arrears, and in some cases you have to cure those arrears even before you can record your ownership interest with the county recorder. Another thing about property taxes is they can be sold at tax sales. This can result in either in a tax lien, which will be in front of you in uh, the title, but it can also result in a tax deed, which again can cause your investment to be worthless. The third thing to be aware of is the potential for blight. This means that the neighborhood can be going south very quickly and a property that your BPO said was worth X on this date, over the 5 or 10 or 15 years that you're involved in this note investment, the neighborhood can change and the collateral can become worthless. This is going to result in your borrower having less of an incentive to continue to pay on their note. Lastly, I want to tell you who we are. Equity Funding of Washington, Three Principals, Virginia Rogers of Austin, Texas, Kathleen Davison of Phoenix, Arizona, and myself, Fred Wood, also of Phoenix. We've been experienced real estate investors, all of us, for more than 40 years. We're careful and high service. We're experienced note buyers, but fundamentally, we're not brokers. We're shopkeepers and educators. We sell out of our inventory to knowledgeable buyers. Because we're not brokers, you'll never pay extra fees, pay no commissions, we're not realtors, we're not showing these investments, we're not lawyers or accountants. And it's always wise to talk to your uh, investing team, your attorney, and your accountant uh, for the uh, specific appropriateness of any investment for your special needs. We'd love to talk to you. If you have more questions, please visit our website, www.equityfundingofwashington.com. If you fill out our secure investor intake form, we'll send you a link to our current inventory. If you want to talk to us, our toll-free number is 888-789-8381. Thank you for your time.